Now finally, I want to talk about data and how precious it really is because I've seen a lot more of this liberalism with data and just share data. I don't believe that's correct and I don't believe that that's right. And I also don't agree with the NSA or GCHQ where they harvest up data. Number one, they're not targeting criminals, they're targeting everybody on that nation and then they're saying you're guilty till proven innocent. Or it's just a nice little record for us to keep so we can sift through it to see if you've done anything wrong. Well, this is my problem. You bear a record and they lied about it. They didn't even tell the truth. So first of all, let's talk about data and why it's so important. Just like when I talked about bank accounts and I talked about objects, these things can be possessed. They can be owned, these ones and noughts, these virtual objects, if you will. And they're very precious. I mean, if you lost your banking details, you know how badly that can end up for you. You could end up with a bailiff banging on your door saying you've set up this account, this account, this account, and we're going to take away your TV and car to pay for the absence of payment on this credit. So that's really dangerous. That, I mean, that could ruin somebody's life. Likewise, even your address, you should try to keep as private as possible because sometimes people can register a car, for example, to your home address. And so you end up with somebody getting a speeding ticket and they've registered their car to your address, which is illegal, but because they registered it to your address, you get the speeding fine and then eventually you could end up with bailiffs at the door. And also even your car details, your registration plate and the type of car. For example, there's been many instances where people have searched for cars and so forth and what they've done is they've looked for a similar type of car, similar make, similar age, similar colour. And then what they do is they copy the registration plate. So they just copy it off and then they stick it on a car, on their car that's very similar. And then if they go through a red light or they go and speed and they get a ticket, that ends up on your doorstep and it's very hard to disprove that that wasn't your car. Very hard indeed. So this type of data is actually really important. Your driving license, passport details, your national insurance number, or in America, I believe it's a social security number. These things are really precious. You can steal somebody's identity just by this data. And there's been massive hacks on major corporations. So what I say is limit yourself. If you can go through a third party service to make a payment like PayPal, do it. Don't just keep handing out your details to this corporation and that corporation and that one because all of them have had major flaws in their systems. I like keeping my data in as little or as few places as possible. Another good example is with an ISP in Britain called Talk Talk. They got hacked into. It was a big news story and their customer details were taken so customer number all these details so it looked legitimate and they got their phone number and email address so what the hackers did was they picked up the phone they went and phoned these customers and they said we want to check the payment and we need you to log into your bank account and they actually remoted in on their computer so these weren't tech savvy people but because they had all the data on them then they could trick them, they could make them actually think that they were talk talk. Now again, they targeted senior citizens, people that weren't really clued in, and potentially there could be other younger people that fell for the scam. And what they did was they remoted into the individual's computer and then they said, please log in to your bank account. And they literally got their password, they got their all their details and they literally emptied their bank accounts and because the bank said you actually gave them the details you're no longer insured that's just like handing the keys over to a car if you leave your keys in the car and the car gets stolen you are not insured you have a duty to protect and likewise i believe there is a duty to protect your data it's very important it's very precious I don't believe in just sharing anything and I don't agree with the GCHQ or the NSA saying you are guilty till proven innocent. Or we're going to keep this record here, but how can I trust those individuals? They are human beings after all. And that's too much power 
in a few people's hands. They're not targeting terrorist organizations, they may do at certain points, but the problem is they're too busy harvesting all the data. Even Mr. Snowden said himself when he saw the bombings and so forth on the news in the canteen of the NSA, he said, I bet you we knew about these people, but because we've got so much data to harvest and so much to do and so much infrastructure to keep this data, we didn't catch them in time. So that's not good. That's just bearing a record and then they can pull that record up later on and use it against you. I completely disagree. Also, don't forget that intelligence agencies across the world share data, AKA your data. So just take, for example, the fact that if I criticize Kim Un, we shall never go to North Korea. If I did and I went to North Korea, he'd say, you criticize me, you go to jail for life. Likewise, you know, you could be politically active in a certain way and countries could actually reject you they, or they could make things more of a hassle for you to get in. So this is what I'm talking about. There's people that have been thrown on a no fly list for no reason, perhaps maybe because there's an algorithm that tries to sort data out and unfortunately the algorithm is wrong. And then, you know, there's even been children being put on the no fly list in America. So you really have to question whether or not this is going too far, I believe absolutely it's going way too far. Privacy is important. Data is important. It runs the world. It ruins your life. Don't be so liberal with it and don't just give it up because you're not doing anything wrong. That's not the point. Do you give your car away because you're not doing anything wrong? Do you give your goods and your possessions away? Well, what about your virtual objects? Do you give those away because you're not doing anything wrong? I don't believe so, and I don't believe that's correct. But, my opinion.